beautiful Honda. <clears throat> Not for sale. There's an even more beautiful one behind it. More beautiful? -er? More beautiful. -er. Okay, then that sounds like the real words. But not as beautiful -er as this thing. No, this is a great one. I'm really excited. I'm glad excited we have driving. a sunny day because look at the paint in the sun. You got the keys? I do have the keys. Hold on. Let me get them out of my pocket. Oh, I'm not going in your pocket. You go. Pull me once. Shame on me. Okay. Okay, everybody. Are we ready? Let's get a thumbnail and then we'll be ready. Hi! I'm Christopher, by the way, and uh, the guy behind the camera, as always, is Jake the Snake. And this is Fastlane Classic Cars. Yeah, Fastlane. We're in St. Charles, Missouri. Look us up at FastlaneSTL.com. And I want to throw the phone number above Chris's head here. So you can call us. Write it down. It'll be up there for a second. Oh, wow. Just in case you want to call us about either this or the other 150 to 200 cars we ever have at any given point. And then I'm also going to put above your head a little like and subscribe reminder. Like our videos. Subscribe to them. And also hit the bell when you subscribe. Because then you get notified when we make cool stuff and it gets put in front of your face. Your face. And yes. right in front of your face is a 2011 CTSV. This has that 6.2 liter supercharged V8. 556 foot pounds, well, 551 foot pounds of torque, 556 horse. This does have an aftermarket exhaust system, so it may kick out a little more. I, I just want to point out the metal flake. It oh, is yeah. so good. I got B-roll of that metal flake, oh, definitely. It is amazing, and I really do love these cars. I have had the privilege of driving my friend's coupe, and boy, is that fun. Hitting it at 85, and then it goes. It, it's endless amounts of fun you in know, this car. I think the proportions are better on the four-door, personally, which is this one. It got also the comfort comfortability, comfortability and usability of a yes. four-door vehicle. You got big back seats for real people or kids or booster seats or whatever you need to put back here. And that's the nice thing. Oh, there's there's the old. Uh, you got floor mats back here mats. as well. Yeah. But yeah, you could put the kids' seat back there. So if Grandpa wants to take the grandkids out, he can take them out in style. Of course. And then the front seats are Recaro buckets. Recaro buckets. Recaro and are they, buckets. Are, are they are they not heated and cooled seats? They are heated and cooled oh. seats, Recaro buckets. We and rarely get this kind of luxury when we're driving, do we, Jay? Oh, yeah. This is luxury. We usually don't. We also got some suspension modes on the dash you can change. Absolutely. It's a really comfortable car, but also sporty. It is very sporty. And I think we should do a good old-fashioned startup right now. I think we should. All righty, here we are. My good sir. Ah, here we are. Boy, that metal flake is insane, man. I love it. Hey, look. Uh, this I retracts into the dash when you turn your car off, but then you can uh, pop it out and you got navigation up here, which I'm yeah. sure you can use on there. There's your suspension mode button right there. I'm assuming that changes the brightness of the display. Yep. Yeah. Suspension modes. That might show up over on your dash. Oh, it is. I'm in sport, tour. Sport. That's a Whoever sport. has this set at 90 degrees is a maniac. Well, I'm turn that that down. A bit much. I did put my seat warmer on because we have them. Oh yeah, I it's a uh, 40 some odd degrees a day. I'm gonna turn mine on. Why not? Oh look at that, and you got the cooled seats down here as well. Love you it. got all your HVAC and radio controls there in the middle. But I believe this is a touch screen, right? No, I don't think so. No, it isn't. No, and if we put the stereo on, it'll show up. I mean, it, it does have a reverse. You have camera. real buttons for everything. Your tuning and your volume and your menu selection and everything. So, and the sunroof does open. Oh yeah, we don't just have a sunroof. We have a moonroof. Might sunroof. need to be stopped. That's for the shape. You just have. oh okay. That's the yeah. There you go. Goes all the way back that far. So doesn't go all the way back. If you close it and then hit the shade the other way, let's see if that closes. Hit the shade, yep. Oh, look at that. Love the shade. You do know you have a seatbelt, and this is a car that I believe we need a seatbelt. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna put mine on. So, I remember in the coupe, the sunroof was nice, but it was basically a vent. You could not open the window of the sunroof, and I asked about it, and the guys at Cadillac told me it's for rigidity. It's for it, having that hole in there would not be as rigid for the roof. But huh. 
this you can because you have more room. Holy cow. Wow, is that the... Is that this car? Yeah, that's this car. Oh my God. It's pretty loud. This is a lot, but Although, in here it's pretty nice. Yeah, when it kicks down to the higher, or kicks up, I should say, to the higher gears, you can't even hear it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't drone, but when you get on it, it's loud as heck. Oh, loud as heck. I love the fact you avoided a curse And word. because it's a 2011, you have all the buttons on the steering wheel you could ever need for all the controls. You don't have to take your hands off the wheel. And this one's kind of a weird in-between with the starting procedure, because it's not a push-button start, but you also don't <laughs> need to put the key in there. The key stays in your pocket, and you turn this key that always stays attached to the, I guess, the column here. It does not come off. It doesn't come out. It's just a little twist. So it's basically a push-button start, because you just have a key fob. You need that. Yeah, you need that See? fob. Yay. But uh, you don't actually put it into the uh, steering column, which is kind of weird. Which is really cool. cool looking gauges. I like gauges. Sporty looking gauges. I like that. My favorite. A lot of gas, too. This And the Recaro seats are crazy oh, comfortable. Excellent. These are the way, this is the way a Cadillac should be. It's quiet. It's very, very what refined. It's got all the nice features. It's very nice looking and yeah, put together we got well. got dark wood. And it's extremely There fast. and on the door panels. Very nice. Oh, is there a way to retract this uh, thingy? Yeah, there you go. I don't know if it was in the way of the GoPro or not. Oh, you know what? Never even thought about it. And then when it's down, you still got the Cadillac logo there, which is awesome. Which is and cool. it just retracts and sits nice and flush with the dash. It's a nice sword. I like that. Oh, Bose speakers with Dolby sound. Oh, wow. yeah. The Bose speakers are in the door, and they're integrated really nicely. It's really, really cool, this car, and the metal flick. Oops. Well. I just hit the glass with my car. How door. dare you? The metal flake is awesome. Yeah, this is a... Uh, I wonder what's I mean, in here. For a classic car shop. Oh. Boy, this is a nice car. Well, Fantastic. there's not a cigarette lighter, but you do have a plug-in for a, uh, a charger. Yeah, so you cannot home. take up smoking if you uh, buy this car. You wouldn't want to smoke in a car this but, nice. yeah, kids, you don't want to smoke anyway. It's bad for you. It is. And with only 56,000 miles, it's a 2011. Yeah, 56,000 miles on a 2011. That's, not, that's nothing. It's clearly been a car that they drove on the weekends. or. And my Accord's only a few years older, and it has 180,000 miles. Let's talk about this beautiful car. Oh, look at it. You feel how responsive it is. It just tracks beautifully. Yes. And oh. the buckets hold you in. They're a little bit wide, the buckets, for me. I'm a skinny guy. You're a skinny guy. But for, for me? Big, but for big dudes, usually big dudes don't like bucket seats, but these are nice and wide, so even big dudes can fit in them. Very comfy. The Cadillac knew what they were doing. Comfort first. And oh, look at where we're at. No, oh, I see where we're at. We're, we're close to our stop five. sign. Time for a bean test. Maybe we'll let this truck get a little bit of space first. We need space. Oh, we do need space. Because I'll be up to them in two seconds here. Well, probably less than that. Meantime, time. See up to 35. Oh my lord. Woo, 35 in a hurry, huh? <laughs> that was, yeah, not 65, 35. Yes. And not spinning the entire oh, time. Beans, beans, wow. Wow. This is. <laughs> oh my goodness. What a great car. That was shocking, mm. the amount of beans that just happened. Yes, very shocking. Positively shocking. Positively shocking. Uh, Junior. I am Sean Connery. I named the dog at dinner. Here you we are. You didn't bring the book with you, Junior, <laughs> did you? You didn't. You didn't. Junior. All right. We get to do what I like to call flybys. A flyby, not a drive-by. No, totally different thing. I'll take that. Holy Toledo. I could not give it full weight. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can't even go halfway down. This thing will, it wanted to go so much more, but I had to walk. So, this is everything I thought it would be. I really like this car. You ready to go back? You get to drive it back. Nice. I almost don't want you to do 